Welcome back to Moken Shots the same way at Gameplay. We're in Gameplay number 12, um, 13 now, I believe. I doubt it's 12. I believe we're in 13 now. 13. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, but continuing we were last left the last video off, um, we've made a bit of the start on the noise barrier, which we've been working on. We've done a bit of that. We've done the, the trends jig in. Now, moving on to our, the cable drums. That's the way the noise then um, barrier is part of our campaign mission we're doing for the transport links. So this one we're doing here. So we can maybe do some of these missions, train station, it's it, it, expansion, you know, stealth area. This would be a good one to do working with this client. You know, lots of things to do. So without, without saying a bit all that, we'll stick with this mission. We're going to get on the noise barrier. Should be pretty fun. Of uh, course, now we're going to continue off. We've got the scanner truck here because we've been driving some of the gravel, you know, all the gravel stuff, you know, the, the bulk material. So I was using this truck to, with the excavator to load up all the stuff inside the tipper. So that was a good point having having that tipper truck is an absolutely doable thing now and just buying it for like a stake of it. It's actually useful. For, about material, you know, digging in, trying seas and stuff, that's the whole point. So, yeah, so now in this video we're going to have to, we're going to do some, we're going to drive a cable, construct some material with cable drums, so what we'll do is, that's the first thing first, that's the way vehicle free. What we'll do is we'll take this truck out, Course, and I went out that also because this is going to be our truck to transport the cable drums and a so we're going to use that. So, we're going to do a bit of fast traveling. Okay, what headquarters are in? This is the new one, isn't it? Uh, with the, with the belt material, so that's a free fab factory. So, we need to try and find a we would be really good to go. Bump material dealer. Let's enter that, for example. So we need to buy two of these. It's going to cost five grand, but we've got a bit of cash for that. So we'll just, um, we cannot road that, but we can also pick it up from the, the yard. So let's, um, let's, uh, let's set a waypoint for that. So we'll just switch to just the the corn. Oh, that's actually not the place we're going. It's there. Getting confused here. So we're going to drive up to the prefab. We're going to quit to... I think it's in there, shall we? Hopefully. So we're going to drive quit to cables. We're going to load them up. You know, we're going to do a bit of that. It's a bit more truck driving. A bit more truck driving going on again, you know. So we're not, we're rocking it on IMM this time around. A TDS with the with the with the power finger. Is it power finger crane that we've got? So we'll probably use the crane. I actually don't know actually. Is that so another thing we can do? Uh, let's head ourselves inside. I was going to head an interior, but we'll do that in a wee moment. So, again, I hope you guys are doing well. You're still enjoying Kitsuts and Sun. I'm still thinking of that video that I did the Darfix. Uh, that was probably the best one I've done. Driving that massive mobile crane, the big container. Huge container, driving in that, that was just so fun, that one. Just these narrow streets as well as ideal, you know, it's a good point actually is to use this truck, I mean use the DAF. You know, like this, so for example, this junction intersection is so narrow. I'll go back to the interior now. 
It's so narrow to turn the truck around, that's what I mean, I think you've probably seen me. I think I've actually went around this way, I recognise this, I'm sort of recognising the areas of the map now. As we go around, funny enough now you've probably seen this area, I probably went off this way, I went over that bit of the truck. I'm going to get a violation. I knew it. I'm alright, one and I'm alright and then it'll give me a fine. I was just saying about the, at the end of the last video, there was a siren, I'm sure that's a German police siren, sure it must be. Because I was seeing some siren in the ambient background, it was a siren similar to that, and I'm sure that's what German police sirens sound like. Because this is also a European map, as I say, this is like set in Germany, this is a German map, I guess it's Germany. I don't know why they call it the, the, the European map, but I guess there's a Yup map and there's a Yes map, I guess. But it's really Germany, this is where you sit in, just a fictional German map, you know. So this is probably, I guess, in the most simulation games are developed in Germany, so that's the reason why most games just some racing games in general, you know, are very popular in Germany, and that's why there's so many just some racing games like on the road and this game, for example, and Bus Simulator. <sighs> Whoa, that was close. <laughs> Transit van. That's yeah. Now most of the games are developed by German developers. Farming Simulator as well. It's just. Just amazing how you really appreciate some racing games. You know, Germany's got a big market in those some racing games. I reckon it's probably one of the number one genre. Firmbus and Tears. I think Firmbus and starts developed by German developers as well. You know, TML. So all those games. You know, I'm still sort of like really old. Some racing games, you know, I used to play loads of some racing games, you know, on the PC years ago, and there was like really old German, the old, really old farm simulator game I used to play as well. It used to be this old Crane Simulator or something, Crane Simulator 2009. I was actually just looking at videos and I could recall remembering that. I believe it's the same developer as Astagon, I'm sure it was Astagon on their box. So some games back in the day are developed by Astagon, you know, so I'll sort of recognise the name. So also they're quite a big, a bit of a big name now, I guess, you know. I guess in it is it's Brody, you know, like was of some racing games, you know, Germany just has a big game. A big, a big game, you know, they have a big game. They just really have a big market in, you know, simulation games, Germany. And I just think that's the reason why most simulation games, you know, have MEM trucks, you know, it's lots of MEM brand, branded vehicles in simulation games. I obviously not mean like ETS2, that's also developed by SLSF software and I believe they're based in the Czech Republic, so they're not German, but I mean they are massive. I mean ETS2 is huge, you know, and SS software are massive as well. So here's a, a you know, this is a, a plastic, a, you know, a cable drums. What I could actually do is, I don't know if you know, there's something else actually that might be quite interesting. I can't see myself in this view, but I'm going to just get the truck in here. Probably, probably a bit tight, but you know, I'm going to just fuck it in here. What we'll do is, in fact, um, why did I actually, yeah, actually, I will have to, gonna, I'm going to, um, I'm going to take a forklift truck out actually, that's what I was going to show you. Oh, what am I doing? Oops. I just put that on the mode there, didn't I? Oh, I didn't want that mode. 
I suppose I could just load up the crane, but I wanted to do a forklift. Oh, right, it doesn't matter. Let's do the crane. We've got it all set now to get them out. That's coolly. Uh, so, what we'll do is, yeah, you know, get this out. It's just a handy truck, this is, eh? You start a your base here, sort of a um, one of the truck, and you'll have this. It's got everything in it, eh? I bet you get scanned it off of this, you know. But I know they have a concrete pump and cement and cement mix, so I'll see. So we get two of these and I hope they can hold this off back in the track. It should be doable. It's pretty tight. Let's get this one. Careful with the net. Let's get this in. <coughs> right, so what we could obviously do is turn this if it's actually I don't know if it would actually be one they do it. I don't know if the game actually wants it to be turned around that way at the end of the day. I'll try and get it right to the back here. It's pretty tight. I don't even know if we can get two in, but we'll try. I think it's, I think it's going to fit to no problem. Get back. So cool, yeah. I mean, this is so cool as well. Loading up the, loading up money, loading up the stuff. I was going to show you the other thing. I wanted to show you it, but I'll show you it in another video. You know, if I don't show you it this time, I'll show it. I'll definitely show you what I mean. You can, you can load up. Uh, you can get a forklift truck in as well, can't you? So we got got two in, that's just handy. I wonder if it would be doable to get the crane then. Probably probably carry that. Don't know if this will work or not but I might work, I don't think it will, but I think this reset will probably fit back. Get this back to dry mode again. So that's screw really kill me, right? So we've got two of these in the back here, so that looks quite good there. So we can get two in. Doesn't matter if I use my tipper. Don't want to do that. Tip them out the way. <laughs> so let's have a look on the nav. Let's, uh, let's set a waypoint here again. Let's drive up to the construction zone. So we've got that now. So that's obviously quite good. Yeah, I should use the MEM a bit more. Eh? I mean, it's good to have an, an MEM track. I mean, I know, I know some. Of you, I know it's not really the one that I like as much. Eh? I don't really like the man, the MEM brand, you know. But I should appreciate them more. That's when we picked up the truck, the dark truck behind it, and that dealership really that mass. That's a bigger dealership. Massive um, parking lot in there, isn't it? So I can't even notice the other wee bit now in the map. It's nice to see the daylight. So they don't get away, don't you know? This way in these drivers. Get 
bit over after this sprint event. Look how busy it is. <laughs> So busy this game, there's so, so many busy roads here. Let's just go out this way to narrow that road. I hope I'm going the right way, but just don't know, just, uh, just don't know some of the mess, some of the, some of the markers of the GPS. Let's go in interior again. It's getting dark already. <laughs> We're gonna have to put on the graveyard shift again, eh? The MM has quite a good sound, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't have as a nice enough sound as the Scania, but I mean, it's it's decent. To be honest, I probably could go straight on. Let's have a look where we are. In fact, we'll all have to go that way because it's just taking us. Or we could go, yeah, we could go straight on, go out that way, and then we're pretty much there. Yeah, let's just go straight. Glad we're not going to make a massive dash track, you know, having a heavy road. We'll have to just take on the main road side and take the narrow ones. There's that one turbine up there, so we probably know where we are. It's kind of that's a bit of a spot that we know. Where that one turbine is, is where, where we're meant to be going. So, actually, just start in this corner here. They're quite weird flats, aren't they? It looks like, very much like, yeah, this looks more like UK or whatever, doesn't it? It's, it's very much like one of these, like, you know, like, it reminds me of like Glasgow or whatever this area somewhat, somewhere, I don't know why. Let's get over this. I don't know, it looks like Glasgow with all the big, with this sort of middle sized houses, you know, middle sized flats, for example, you know, it's always reminds me of Glasgow, it sort of reminds me of Glasgow a little bit, I don't know why. Because I mean, it looks, it looks like a Scottish, it could be like these buildings in front of you, it sort of reminds you of, a, of Glasgow or whatever, you know, or Glasgow and Scotland, if you're wondering what I mean. These uh, lots of flats or houses, or you know, those houses, for example, mines of the UK, mines of Glasgow flats. <laughs> but yeah, this is Germany, you know, it's not Glasgow <laughs> in Scotland. I'll say I'm mostly from Scotland, you know, so you probably London that I'm saying. Let's take it off there, yeah. Here we are. We we'll actually have to download them for Naya Directs and we'll have to go somewhere, we'll have to go over here and then we'll have to take another one. So we'll have to, we'll have to take the crane up this direction for example. We'll probably be fine here actually. Getting used to this a bit of a, a bit, it's a bit screw off getting the, getting the, you know, the views of the camera but you know. Open these up, makes it a bit easier. What we need to do is put this to this to crane mode again. Uh, yep, it's all in camera mode. So let's do that. I hope the crane, the crane should reach that far, I reckon. hear the siren again. That was what I mean about the they must be like German priest sirens as I say. Yeah we'll get we'll probably get there. Pretty pretty quick far to extend it but you know it's good. Imagine if the queen could extend that far. I 
could even be I could actually get the crane up to that other one as well without moving it. Let's try that. Let's test it out. Test the extension. Could try that. Probably probably wouldn't work out. So let's just try just do a wee test now actually. For example, I think we're on full. Yeah, we're on full now. No, we're not going to get there. But unfortunately, so we'll have to move there. The truck. Let's reset that. So we'll just move there. We'll just move it over there. Over, over there. Prank a little bit over there. Maybe throwing some concrete inside that and these three trenches there as well, I reckon, but we'll see. Let's take our time up here. Look at the messy ground up a little bit. So, uh, let's get back in the. Yeah, let's get back in the crane mode again. And use that. Might be a bit grind, might be a bit risky for these to go down, but we'll see. Yeah, we're fine. He's up. This don't get me wrong, guys. This game is just so enjoyable. I mean, it, I mean, I do like to play. I was to say, I've I got another save in the American map playing that I'm playing off stream which obviously I just do obviously I just do that and I'm doing a lot more I'm doing more missions on that one so I'm just enjoying that one off stream. But on this one, the German map for example, we're just gonna cover this one, we're just gonna put it, we're just gonna put this one on the channel. So that's the point. So we've got special components that's going to be fun. So we actually will have to use the crane even a bit more now. Actually, it's quite happy enough. It's actually good enough that so we've actually got the crane still. So we might as well just then um, use these. I don't know if there's a crane, you know. A crane area to put a tower crane, you know, for example. I'm not sure if there's a crane area or not, but let's just use this one anyway since we got this, you know. There's no point using wasting it more went across, you know. Look at that then. That's one, got three to do. We'll probably have to put one on the other side, so we might as well have to. We might as well then. That's where I don't even know how you can load that. How you can manage to load that one that far. Still quite there. Got one here. Going right to the well, we've actually got it through its standing now. We're not going to make it. Yeah, we'll have to. We might as well put this in the truck yeah, and put the other one in the truck as well. We. Eh? That's a good point. That's we just place these in you now. Let's just put this one down here. Might as well just use this eh, just to now since we've got it. And then again, we'll put this one on the truck as well. Get this one. So, like wee rocks or something, aren't they? Like wee cubes. I don't know what they are. We'll put this down as well. Tell it's a bit weird it's going to go on. Let's 
opposite there. Put these up. So we set the crane. Put this back to dry mode again. Uh, so where's the other one? Yeah, we might have to put the truck a wee bit. We might have to move this truck a wee bit. Eh? Just slowly reverse it. Whoa! <laughs> I thought we were going to thing me there. on this way. There's a crane here. I don't think there's a crane here yet, so we... There's a... No. There's a... No, I don't know if there is that, so we... That's the point, as is doing this today. So it's just uh, there. Put this back out again. We'll turn this back to crane mode again for this one. Is that off the ground? I'd say it's saying Yeah, fine. Right. Let's go for that. It's good having this truck here. Eh? I don't just do it, but this truck is a doable truck. Usable truck. I mean, like, you know, have like. I mean, like, you know, it's Scania trucks as well. I, mean, I don't think they've got a crane crane at the moment, but they might they might offer a crane eventually. So I'll move this back because we've got, um, we've got one more A uh, finally. So we'll move this um, back towards the other side. Reverse again. Might as well uh, put the crane on the uh, put the crane on this side. Revs the engine up a little bit, doesn't it? This is this will be shut anyway. This, so we might as well just place it here. Well, I probably don't really need to open these up anyway, but it's just a bit of room to get them out here. So let's get ourselves out again. Let's get the the power finger. Well, I've heard of uh, Palfinger, they do have cranes on tracks, don't they? I've seen the brand Palfinger, and I have seen some of their cranes on trucks, cranes on trucks, or cranes on flatbeds, you know. Quite a big brand, I get, Palfinger. I think they're quite well known to a lot of the, a lot of the flatbed cranes, you know. Oh, what else we're doing here? So we need to lay cables now, don't we? So that's going to be fun. Oh, we need to put this back. We can fill up that as well, but I don't know what, what does it fill up with. Let's put this back to dry mode again. I might be using it again, but... Yeah, let's just get out of here because we're going to lay the cables down so we might be doing a bit of work. Let's lay them down. This will be fun. That's one. There's the cables, there must be in there then. There's two there, so we've got this one to do as well. There must be the electrical cables or something. I'm not sure, but something to do with that. There we go. 
that's another one. Oh, we've got loads of things to bring with this time now, haven't we? Got 600 meters away, what's that? I think that's the face we're going in. I think it's on the nav, it's... Oh, wait a minute. Building yard. So... I wonder what that does in the building yard. It's telling me what the building yard is, isn't it, from here? To correct, um, must be telling me to correct the bits of the, you know, for the the crane. We might need a big truck for that, don't we? Transport for that. We might have to dust out the Scania truck. It's telling me it needs a mobile, a mobile crane for that. Oh, it's telling me to do multi tour, so we might as well. Uh, what we could do is maybe the next video because we've done the cable work now, that's done and dusted, so that was not too bad. That was just a quickie, but in the next video, is to do the wall construction so we can hire out the daft truck, transport the mobile crane to the area. We need to do that. Also, the thing is, first of all, we need to get the materials, don't we? We need to get all this, don't we? The package of noise barrier, noise barrier pillars, and pack of noise barrier elements. I don't know what what's his bits, but when you got the building site, don't we? To get that. So we might as well then see you suss that out in the next video for you. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed a bit more construction simulator. I mean this one's obviously yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit more of a simple way of video. We won't be doing much digging or just delivering the the cables in this one. So this has been a bit more just just a bit of a quicky one, but you know it's a good one. So yeah, I hope you enjoy construction some way. Make sure to check the playlist. I mean, I mean before that, make sure to like, comment, and like the video. Make sure to check out the playlist and uh, all the stuff on the channel. You can check it out, you know, of course, and of course, then uh, you know already as the podcast. So to that and there's such some bots, and yeah, eh. Uh, Again, I'll catch you in the next video as we continue the noise barrier. So, bye for now.